yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to Shipwreck 64. I still have no idea what we're supposed to be doing, but in the last video, we played the 2023 version of Shipwreck Shipwrecked 64, and everything seemed normal, everything was chill, you know, and then we got to the 19... 93 version of the game and now we're kind of here in this other section of the game and i was told to think outside the box and i have no idea what that actually means but we have this code here that we're trying to figure out it's got four digits no clue what these four digits are but if I'm thinking outside the box, one thing that I thought about was counting the number of trees, wolves, and houses down there, but that's only three digits. So, and I also don't know which one could come first, because there's two wolves down there, there's three trees, and two houses. But what else... What else could there be? Then there's another wolf up there. There's three wolves, three houses, and three trees. Is it all threes? That's not it. Damn it! Because then there's also houses down here as well. But these are for a completely different room. And that's for... Five, six, seven. So maybe it could be three, three, seven, zero. No, zero is not an option. Uh, three, three, seven. I don't know, man. There's four chairs in here. So could it be three houses, three wolves, three trees, four chairs? Think outside the box. Outside the uh, outside the fucking box. Think outside the goddamn box. There's definitely three trees down there. It's one, two, three. Two wolves, but technically three because there's a third one up there and then the three houses. Oh. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. So is it three, three, five, four? Three, three, four, five. Three, three, five, four. Four, five, three, three. Oh! <laughs> Come on. That's gotta be something. That's definitely a thing. Is there another one up there? I don't know why I'm breaking my neck to try and see something that I can't. It's all about perspective. It's all about angling. Because I don't even know what order they're supposed to be in. And then if I use my... If I use my pictures that I have as reference, we have the KBZFQ2 QPPN3. And then we have the RXBC, the LIZ0. A lot of this stuff probably doesn't mean a damn thing. Okay, that's definitely one house, two house, three house, four. One more house, <laughs> three trees, two wolves. Am I missing one? I'm not. I'm probably way far off and I'm not even. Do these chairs count for anything? Why are these here? I don't think these would just be here just to be here. If I'm being honest, that four has got to, that last number has to be something. They do. I have explored just about every inch of this little area here. The only thing I could find was that um, tape recorder with the guy talking about the sheet music and those two locked doors. Wow. So. I don't know what else could possibly be in here. Obviously, I don't have what it takes to unlock those doors just yet. I don't know. Is there is there something that I'm supposed to be able to do in there? Because I can't redirect the boat that I'm on. It only goes one way. This is the RXBC. Okay, is this something? Because I can't zoom in to see. This game is actually driving me crazy, and I just started recording. 
I want to let you know that I just started playing and I'm already being driven crazy. Code is RX. What the fuck is that? All right, let me calm down. Um, RXBC. Because like I said last time, I could definitely try the letters of the alphabet. But the problem with that is, is R and X are both double digit letters. I've explained that in the last video is that they can't be part of the code up there because, you know, What if the code is 1996? What if the code is the year that the game came out? What if that's the code? It's probably not, but what if that's the code? Uh, where's my boat? I need my boat. I need my boat! Oh, please let the code be 1996. I cannot handle any more of this. I just want to figure out what the fuck is going on. Okay, 1996. Please. Please. <laughs> Wake your ass up and help me. I don't know who you are, but help me. Three, four, five, three, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, wait, wait. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. So there's three wolves, three trees, four chairs, nine houses. I really don't know if these ones are supposed to count, but I'm gonna count them. So, we've got three, no. We've got three, three, four, nine. Nine, four, three, 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 four, three, nine. Ah! I'm going to be honest with you right now. I'm going to be honest because I, I don't think I would have ever figured this out. I don't. Can somebody please explain to me why that is the code? If you know the code, can you please explain to me why that is? Because, like, none of that shit makes sense. Six, two, two, four? Six of what? Were there six leaves on the palm tree? Three, four, two, two. I, I, I really don't fucking know. Okay. Now we can find out what this goddamn button does. Probably nothing worth anything, if I'm being honest. Oh, these are the, uh, these are the, the statues that they were talking about in the note. Okay, they got big. Am I supposed to wall jump on those? What the hell is that up there? Who the hell is that up there? The music has stopped and I feel very uncomfortable right now. Extremely uncomfy. I don't know what to expect. Should I be expecting anything? No! 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 Okay, alright, alright, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, there we go. No, can you just, just
Okay. What am I playing? I think from now on, nobody ever recommend I play an ARG ever again because this game, leave it up to the theorists. Leave games like this up to up to the hardcore theorist fans because I, I'm not smart enough to figure out puzzles and shit. I, I've been getting lucky so far. I don't know what any of this means. I'm looking at all this stuff and, and none of this is clicking. Nothing is making any sense. I'm I'm just here. I'm just here to play the game. Does that not do anything to the TV? Oh, hi. Okay. TV's gone. Where are we? The smells atrocious. We should leave. We should save, yeah? We don't gotta walk back. You can open the menu and hit respawn. And we'll be on our merry way. No, I don't think I will. It says the dam. It says the diner. It says the pool. Oh, and there's codes on the wall. There's codes in the nine, two, three, four. Can you please listen to me? My friends are in danger. And you think now's a good time to explore this dump? Hit the respawn button. What the hell? Use your damn head, idiot. Well, not when you talk to me like that. That's not very nice. Uh, what was the code? Nine, two, three, four. Fuck, what was that? Shit, I hate numbers. Four, nine, two, three. Is that all the numbers? Four, nine, two, three. Thank you. Hey, Bucky. What are you doing here? You've got friends to save. Go do that. No, I don't think I will. Oh, it opens up a website. Oh, okay. All right. Um, wow. All right, this is what we got. Uh, I don't think there's anything that I can, I can click on this picture, but that's about it. So we've got Cogware Games. We are Cogware. Cogware Games was originally an idea that three friends out of Silicon Valley had one night. Founded by Connor Thomas, Elizabeth Baker, and Harry Waters. We are a collective of fans of the new and thriving world of gaming, and we put innovation at the forefront. With our first ever demo of the game, Blunder Cover, being a hit with crowds over at local conventions in 1995 and a thriving partnership with the Broadside Animation Company, leading to the creation of the magnificent Shipwrecked, we won't hold back on getting our hands dirty with game development. After all, that's where the games come from, or that's where the name comes from. Every cog in a machine has to be working together to create a meaningful result. We are at we here at Cogware are in for it are in it for the players. And for moving forward, we've dabbled heavily into three-dimensional graphics, working with top of the industry professionals to create worlds with depth, color, and light. While we make games that are bright and friendly, you're not getting a squeaky clean experience if you play a game from Cogware. Instances of adult humor and some edge to our games are all present. We believe that games should not be just designated to a single demographic, but rather shared among many demographics. We don't make kids games, but we also don't make adult games either. I'd sure hope not if you're using furry animal-like creatures. Unless you're into that, I don't know. Think of us as a fine line in the middle. 
Let's keep innovation at the forefront. We can make some amazing things together. Contact at cogwaredgames.com. Did you know the games engine used to create our the game engine used to create our games is called Unreal Engine? It's the same program used to create the shooter game by the name by the same name, Unreal. It was licensed to use by Epic Games, but it's soon to release to the public. Interesting. Thank you for that. Shipwrecked is a game developed by us at Cogware, partnered by Broadside Animation Studio. Bucky and his friends need your help. After a sudden crash during the da da da, fix your boat, get back home. Made for the new Nintendo 64 console and powered by Unreal, Shipwrecked is a game that it puts you into the shoes of Bucky's imaginary friend. Puts you into the shoes of Bucky's imaginary friend as you help guide him back to his homeland. And maybe some need some friends along the way. With a fun puzzle based gameplay structure, many endings, and dynamic gameplay, you'll never wind up at the same playthrough twice. This game would not be possible without a cogware. Interesting. So, what happens if I click on the. Hey, everyone! I need your help! Step into the three. Oh, I think this is just the. Explore a vast open island and hopefully bring your friends back to safety. So what do you say, buddy? Let's go rescue the gang! Okay, that wasn't anything important. I thought that that was going to be something special. Ah! Uh, <sighs> Ship is a game that places you into the role of Bucky. I just clicked on a letter. I clicked on something. What the fuck was that? Okay, there's something obviously peeking around the corner. Homeboy or homegirl, home person goes to check it out. Am I supposed to hear something? I don't think I've ever met a man as pathetic as you. Alright, well, funny of you to assume that I am a man. I mean, you'd be absolutely right, but like, funny of you to fucking assume. Okay, so that's a thing. That's, that's a thing. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, I was tripping for a second. Oh my God. I thought I was moving, but it's actually just the wallpaper. Okay, whatever. It's a note from Cogware. Well there. This room is designated to staff only. Feel free to hit respawn. Connor Cogware Games. No, I don't think I will. It's a note from Cogware. If you really want to go down there, well then, feel free. Just be warned. Okay. You're scaring me. You're scaring me. Stop. No, I don't think I will. Stop now? No, thank you. I'm gonna keep going, because I'm a big dumb dummy head. None of this is making any sense. I want to go back to the island. You don't have a fucking choice, Bucky. I want to go back home. Is that not why you're playing? Look, we can do this, but whatever happens, that's on you. Am I clear? Good. Well, I mean, as long as you're not giving my computer a virus, we're all good. The label says... P-K-J-U-J-B. I'm gonna take a picture of that one too. I hate this game. It hit her before she even knew it was coming. It started with loud screaming. Reduced over time to mere croaks. Any will to swim away 
slowly drained away as she sunk down further into the water, polluting its natural color. The rodent stood a few feet away, watching the effects of his actions, and only began to walk away when she stopped struggling. Okay. Oh, good. Some light. We'll need it. Oh, boy. Maybe I probably should have listened when they said to turn back. But you know what? That's not what you guys came here for. Am I right? You came here to watch me scream because you don't want to play the game for yourself. That's why we all watch gaming YouTubers, you know? We watch them do the things that we ourselves wouldn't want to do. It's like going to watch a movie. You know, you go to watch a superhero movie and you think, damn, it'd be so cool if I had superpowers. And then you go to watch a horror movie and be like, man, I would do something completely different if I was in that situation. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You hear a loud, so you hear a knock at the door. You're probably going to go check on it. Oh my god! Follow. I have to hide from something? No! Ah! Ah! Okay, they're lying. There's a chandelier on the roof. I might swing from it. Look me in the eye and tell me. Tell you what. Tell you what. Follow. Look me in the eye and tell me. No! Ah! I don't like open spaces like this. I don't like open spaces for the pure fact that... Oh my god. What is all of this? That door's locked. Say it with me now. Lock doors mean safety. You got it. You've been around here long enough to know. All right, that's a door. I'm just assessing my options before I have to like run for my life or something. That door's locked. A helping nub by Stumbler and Wolf. Oh my God. About the authors. <laughs> Stumbler O'Hare. Stumbler O'Hare is a rabbit and an artist at heart. Growing up, he has been a massive fan of arts of many different forms. In the process, he began to experiment with art on his very own. He took up painting at his, at his favorite form of artwork. As his favorite form of artwork. He had painted lots of artwork, some of which would have been hung up in the Nola Terra Theater. One day, uh, one day however, Stumbler was hit with a life-changing event which had left him without arms. A rabid wolf attacked him, and while he did get away, he had to live his life without hands at all. However, he's still an amazing artist at heart. Thumbler will be responsible for the drawings in this guide. Chief Wolf has dedicated his entire life to helping his fellow wolves, who lived in the, on the Nolaterra. Much like himself, he lives in the outskirts and, typically found guarding, and is typically found guarding the island, keeping it away from harm. He is responsible for the capture of Bucky, Walter, Olive, and Giovanni. Giovanni's the, the goose or whatever. Yeah. Okay. And he wants nothing more to help his fellow citizens. Wolf will be responsible for all of the writing and research portrayed in this document. Where am I? Layer three? Layer three is where you are right now. As you know, the island is split into layers. Didn't know that at all. For instance, layer one is the island, outskirts and any other missions. Layer 2 consists of a pool, a diner, and a waterway. And now you're in Layer 3, the land of darkness. That's okay, though. If you come properly prepared, you could be equipped to either venture even further or keep yourself safe. To open the gate to move to the next zone, locate the charge, locate and charge the computers 3 of 3. Once it's open, find the gate control and turn it I could strangle you right now. I could literally strangle all of you collectively and I wouldn't feel bad about it. 
Because what the fuck do you actually have me playing right now? Candle. Visual of your candle. How do they make that drawing move like that? <laughs> the candle is your most important tool in layer 3. You are completely in the dark, but that's okay. Because your candle will light the way. Once you pick it up, you will have it for the rest of your time here. It will light the surrounding areas, keeping, your, keeping you aware of where you're going. Just know, however, when you leave these areas, you will no longer have the candle. You won't lose it. It will come back to you. It will come back when you visit next. But if you don't need it, you won't have it. Got it. Visual of Silver Tech Prime. Computers are a very prevalent thing to come across in Layer 3. Silver Tech has graciously provided us with these computers, which, were, which we have stocked all around the place as a good way to share information with newcomers like yourself. If you're reading this, either a friend has shared you the link to this or you found it yourself through a Silver Tech Prime computer. Press the big red button on the front when you find the computer and you will be able to learn brand new things about layer three. Golden computers, however, will need to be activated with the timer. Once they are on, you will need to find each of them and turn them all on before the timer hits zero. I'll try to leave a map as to where to locate these computers. Dwellers. Dwellers? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Visual of Olive and Giovanni. Oh no. Dwellers, also known as starlings, are creatures who live in the darkness of Layer 3. Donning the faces of Bucky's own friends, they will wander around the dark searching for an unfortunate little beaver who happens to stumble into their path. Awakened when Walter, Giovanni, and Olive are brought down into Layer 3, they will stalk around the dark and eventually make their presence known. You cannot rely on your menu to keep you safe. Look for a barrel and interact with it to hide away. While a dweller may follow you around in layer 3, that doesn't mean they won't try to follow you elsewhere. Stay alert, you may not be as safe as you think. If a barrel or any other objects appear to be off or moving repeatedly, hit it until it vanishes. I'm going to take a picture of this code. It may not be anything important, but I wouldn't take my chances. When captured by a dweller, you will be taken to a small room akin to that of a prison cell. Little do they know, however, your little rabbit friend knows the code. If you are trapped, the keypad to exit will be 7418. Remember that. If you wind up there, you will need this to escape. Good thing I took a picture of it. Beaver Scratch. Yeah, just kidding. Beaver Scratch is a language that use, that is used by many, many folks who reside down here in Layer 3. To speak in Beaver Scratch, you will want to firstly take your sentence, for instance, I miss having arms. <laughs> and now, once you translate it, you'll get a very simple translation of... Okay... Just like that. I hope you find, I hope you figure it out. I'm an artist, not a teacher. Ha. Huh? Okay. Okay. Somebody has probably already figured out. Somebody has probably already deciphered what this means. And I, I low key kind of want to using this here because G is H. There's no K or P or an F. There's no E. U is R. I is J, or J is I. No F. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to try to... Uh, if you need a sentence translated, feel free to send me a sentence. I'm not doing that. <laughs> ah! Cypher guide. What the fuck is... You guys are going to make my head hurt. This game is going to actually make my head hurt. The codes. So... These are area these areas are a little complicated. So I wanted to leave a guide here that helps you translate non beaver scratch codes for the sake of making the easier making this easier to digest. I've given them fun names. So here they are. Shakespeare cipher. Oof, this one's a doozy. So you will first need to identify what it is you're trying to get. There will usually be some kind of text saying code is XXX. Oh boy. That's funny you should say that because I have tons of pictures in my fucking camera roll right now about the codes being XXX. XXXXX. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just need to let that out because that was that was like deep in there. That was pause. That was. Now, usually each of those X's would be replaced with a respective letter from there. Uh, from there, you will need to listen to audio somewhere and count the times a word begins with the... A word begins with the letter. For instance, APF would be our combination. Let's look 
for A. It's a wonderful day today, friend. Apparently, when it turns to night, the sky turns purple. Amazing, ain't it? That means A would be four. Now, some same logic, let's put, let's get P. It's a wonderful day today, friend. The sky's purple. He's one. That's why I said it was a doozy. Okay. So I need to find, I need to go back and find those, um, those tape recorders that had the audio. The code is RXBC and the code, the label says PKJUJB. So I need to find those again. Oh, musicians, this one's for you. Now you'll need to start again by identifying your data set. Uh, you will usually know you've got it when you're when your data set consists of letters entirely at the start of the alphabet, for instance, D, E, F, G, that's how you know you've got Mozart code. Uh, now, this is similar to the last one, but you'll have to count the notes. So if D is placed twice in a song, D is two. <laughs> now that's a lot of B, so if the code was dab, g, well, there's one D, one A, and a whole heck of a lot of Bs. That's eight, and now just one G. That makes our code 1181. Quite the redundant code, but that's okay. Caso Cypher. That's right, friends, it's an art-related code. So I, so to ha so to say I'm happy, it's a bit under of an understatement. It's my time to shine. So, some of you might know about the art gallery attached to the diner, but if not, here's some photos. Wolf took for me on our last visit. Now, pay attention to those paintings. See anything off about them? Green means nine. I see the nine here. Blue means three. There's a three here. And red means eight. There is an eight. You can use these if you see a sequence of colors in a row. For instance, you walk in and see flags with blue, red, green, blue in that exact order, right? That would be... 3983. Now, last thing, there are two more colors, but they've honestly slipped my mind. If you see them, write them down. You'll need them. Inclusion, there you go. You've done great. Keep it up. It is helping. Layer four! That's a gate at the back half of the plaza. Look for it. And you'll find it exactly. Oh, I actually have to click on these, and you'll find it eventually. You got to get it unlocked using two simple tasks. Mission number one. Okay, so you gotta get the gate open. Here's what you gotta do. Find the crystals. There is a computer lying around somewhere and on it is a video that contains your answer. If you visited the pool, you know what steps to do next. Find my tape player. I did record the code for future use, but I forgot it. Look around. There's a tape player somewhere with the workstation code on it, recorded by yours truly. Maybe look for my little home away from home. Seems like a reasonable place to leave it. No, nope. play far away from Giovanni. He can hear these. Step three, start the task. Go to the sky hallway and look for the door with the music notes next to it and press the button again to begin. The monitors will instruct you. This is so much. Find the batteries. Look for glowing green batteries. There will be one in the office. One in the rooftop and one in the cave. Step two, drop them off. Bring the batteries to the computer in the basement. Drop them into the draw open box. You can go now. Be free. Truth be told, we don't know if there is a layer four or just how deep this all goes. For the longest time, it was assumed that it was only a ghost of three layers. But recently, search recent searches have shown some kind of paradise down there. If you can find it, then by all means, you'll have my gratitude. I'm proud of you, Bucky. Good luck. What do I draw? This has nothing to do with layer three, but as most artists experience at one point or another, I'm dealing with burnout, the creativity killer. Well, this sucks. If you see this, why not toss me suggestions of something to draw? Okay, I'll gladly draw the update. January 15, 2020. Wow, you guys have given me... Okay. <sighs> There's so much that goes into this. I actually hate this. What does that say? I can't see that. Is this where you were? I don't know. 
Stop asking me questions that I don't know. Oh, that's the the computer where I have to find the the buttons or whatever. Oh my goodness. This is actually insane. Okay, looking through all of my codes, this isn't the 7418 code, but I'm gonna try it just in case. Yeah, I didn't think that that was it. Um, I didn't really get anything else. Unless there's... There's a live, laugh, love. Is that a thing? Okay, I may just have to come back to that. Also gonna take a picture of that. My camera roll is just gonna be full. Oh, that's the walrus. That's Walter. I'm uncomfortable. Gate control. Okay, did that do anything to the... Okay, two of three. So I just need to figure out the code for this, which I don't know. Does it have something to do with this clock here? What time is that? It looks like it's got three hands. Does this code have something to do with the number of colored... Uh, colored computer screens? Because there's blue, red, green, and a light blue. Then there's a purple one here. I'm gonna I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna try to explore a different area and see if I can go back. The code is PKJUJB. So we have to count how many times a word starts with P. This is gonna take forever. It hit her before she even knew it was coming. It started with loud screaming, reduced over time to mere croaks. Any will to swim away slowly drained away as she sunk down further into the water, polluting its natural color. The rodent stood a few feet away, watching the effects of his actions. And only began to walk away when she stopped struggling. Okay, P was shown once. I gotta listen to this. Oh, this is gonna take forever. K was zero times. I didn't hear a K. Are we sure that? Oh my god. I I really don't think that I can keep playing this game. I'm not smart enough for puzzles like this. I. I don't do puzzle games, especially ARGs. Like that is so far out of my, that is so far out of my realm of, of gaming. And these doors are still locked. So there's really nothing that I can do here. Maybe this is, maybe this is that, that uh, beaver scratch. Let me see. I, of all the pictures that I took, I don't think I took a picture of the fucking beaver scratch. So that's great. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't think that I can keep playing this game. It got to a point where the 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 puzzles and the codes are just too much. I haven't gotten to anything scary. I've gotten to like the extremely unsettling parts, but upon trying to find the codes for all of these doors and everything, I I'm realizing that there is like significantly scarier parts of the game that we haven't even reached and i don't i honestly don't think that we're gonna get there this might be the last video of shipwreck 64 because i've been recording for an hour and 17 minutes and the first like 30 minutes of this video were spent trying to figure out one code there's just too much going on i'm not i'm not built for args i'm not built for puzzle games i don't 
I do horror games, RPGs, and occasionally the casual, but I, I, I just can't, I cannot, my brain cannot wrap around the process of trying to figure out codes and trying to keep track of all these numbers and shit. And it's kind of just too much. I don't really want to keep playing. And I'm sorry to anybody who really wants to watch me finish this game, but I just, I can't. And I know it's probably gonna haunt me until I one day eventually do, if I ever do. But I really don't think that I can. If you want to see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here. If you want to see my last video of Shipwreck 64, I'll also have that link somewhere around here. I, I truly do apologize that I'm not gonna be able to finish this game. I, I just think that I am very overwhelmed and there is way too much going on. I'm not the type of person to play these kind of games, so I do appreciate the suggestion for playing, um, but it's it's not going to get finished. It's not happening. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy and big buddy out. I'm out. I'm done.